Welcome back to Lynn Family Stadium. We are gearing up for the UKG Challenge Cup game between Kansas City and Racing. Alex Billiter is our center referee, and we are underway. Again, for Racing Louisville, this is their first UKG Challenge Cup. Curran slicing through the middle. Murray turns, and there's a shot that hits the side of the netting there. Cooper from Weinbrenner. Floats towards the 18, Delfava cross, right to Curran. Turns around to Cooper, shoots, and it's just high. Centers, Cooper, here's a chance, yes! Michelle Cooper, her first pro goal. What a strike from Michelle Cooper, absolutely brilliant, nothing. The keeper could have done with that one. It flies almost in the top corner, but it's the, the strength, the turn, the shot. Katie Dunn just looks disconsolate because there was nothing she could do about it. The ball played out wide. And then watch the run from Michelle Cooper. She takes it, lets the ball run past her body. You've got to be a little bit tighter there if you're Satara Murray. But the power behind the shot, that's what beat Katie Lund. It's got direction, but it's got so much power, the keeper's barely got a chance to move before it hits the back. Of course, that's why we have VAR and the ability to look, but here's another dangerous chance. DeMello walks one back, takes it herself, it's in! Why not? If there was any doubts about her being chosen for the US national team, well, I think she answered it there. Yes, he's saying the same thing. How brilliant is that? Just had a goal disallowed in within, what, 20 seconds? You score, and it's the person who made the disallowed goal who puts it in the back of the net. Stunning, but his skill from Savannah to Mello in the space of one minute, but a bad kick out from A.D. French, and she gets punished, but outside of the right foot for A.D. French, that's an absolute disaster. Well, DeMello said, we'll just run it back. <laughs> I'll do it this time. Kanu, up that right side now. Cross in, Merrick DeMello again! She's unstoppable tonight. Wow, go Savannah DeMello. I think you can book your ticket to the World Cup if you keep playing like that. It's an absolutely stunning finish with so much power and direction. Nothing that Eddie French could do about that one. And give Canoe credit on the right-hand side for creating the opportunity, but the, the fans are loving it from 1-0 down to 2-1 up. There we go. Thank you, Uchenna Canoe, for building that for Savannah DeMello. Don't forget... Paige Monaghan with a lovely little touch here, but Canoe head up. We spoke early on about her setting up chances while she does it perfectly. Ball not cleared in defence by Eddie Merrick. And she's able to pounce on this to Mello, but thumps it. That's what's so good about that. Give the keeper absolutely no chance whatsoever. Racing Louisville has it again. Ricochets off Rodriguez, no problem, because Howell can regroup. Changes direction, moves to that right side. From Baggett, French, some problems, Jediak! No! Good play from Malay to stop Dipinia getting the ball there. Crucial. Malay, service up, header almost. Kanu. Catlana. Louisville. Borges has a chance, out in front, she scores! She just checked in. And now Racing Louisville has three goals. Brilliant counter-attack. They were under so much pressure. Yeah, the coach is happy. They were under so much pressure, but they get that breakaway. Cutlana doing a fantastic job of running most of the length of the pitch there and just, just slipping Ari Borges in at the right time. And she chips Eddie French as Eddie French comes out. Yeah, go on, dance and celebrate because it's a crucial goal, just wonder they were under massive pressure to be here, cut down as she runs, 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 she's waiting, she's waiting, slips the ball in, and as Eddie France comes out, Ori Borges just chips it up, beautiful finish, delightful, have a look, foot under the ball, chips it up, back of the net, that should be it then for Racing Louisville, game, set and match you would think.
like you said, perfectly timed. And that's been the story today for Racing Louisville. Just the sequences have been crisp. They've been finding each other well, or just with a run. A lot of with the, the interesting. Uh, enough. Louisville's done this before to Kansas City in the Challenge Cup. Kalana, why not? Here's another chance. And why lay on? Dabinia. Dabinia again. Ricochets in. Dabinia just made this interesting. Certainly has. Is their life and hope yet for Kansas City current. Maybe he wrote them off too quickly there. You thought with the two goal gap it would be enough and it might still be enough. Lucky there, Katlana, could have been a second yellow, but this is the danger of Dupin. Just runs at you, keeps the ball under control. Absolutely stunning. Yeah, gets an, a lucky deflection, but she's taken on two defenders and a third there. Stunning, stunning skills from the Brazilian. And she's got them back into the match, but is there enough time to get the Add in the fact that you have some youth on this roster as well. Maybe it's clicking. Oh, there's a final whistle. Louisville hangs on. And they take down Kansas City 3-2 in the UKG Challenge Cup game. It's the first win for Louisville in their first game of this tournament.